this is my hair after I decided to try to recover it today. I basically decided to really deep condition it. I decided to use this new really cool flaxseed heated microwave bonnet heat cap thing. And yeah, my hair is looking so much better than it did this morning. I have not been very kind to my hair and I thought, you know what, I just need to chop it. I've done it before, let me just do it again. However, I was just like, you know what, let me try to revive it. And can you see these curls? Oh, look at the luster, look at the definition. This was not here this morning. So if you wanna see how I did it and it was super cheap and super easy, let's get on to the video. So this is where my hair is kind of naturally right now. It is, um, unfortunately, you know what? A word that I never thought that I would actually use for my hair is stringy. My hair is super stringy right now. So I um, actually went not just weeks, but months um, straightening my hair with like a 450 degree um, flat iron. And I definitely went over it way too many times and I just got really happy with the heat. So that is a big reason why my hair is fried right now. And so if you can see these under layers of my hair, like they are, if you can see like kind of straight, like they kind of have some wave until about here and then they go straight. And just in general, there's no definition. And um, my hair is just really dry. Like, can you see how dry my hair is? It's super dry and it's just not, um, I don't know, looking plump and juicy like I like it to. So I have a plan. I actually went out to Ulta in a panic, in a damaged, uh, heat damaged, like severely dry panic. And I was like, what can I get? So I got the following things. I, first of all, I got this Shea Moisture Strengthen and Restore Treatment Mask. So what I love about this is that um, it comes in a little pack. So you can use, it's got a lot of, um, I was gonna say goo, but it has a lot of deep conditioner in it. So it's gonna be enough for my hair, which is pretty uh, thick. My hair is really porous and it's super damaged. So I got that, and I think I'm gonna start with this one first. And then I also got the Shea Moisture Manuka Honey and um, Mafura Oil Intensive Hydration Hair Mask. So I got this one as well. And um, the third uh, Shea Moisture one that I got, Mass Deep Conditioner, is the Manuka Honey and Yogurt Hydrate and Repair Protein Power Treatment. Because I know that when your hair is damaged, um, it usually needs, I know it needs a lot of uh, moisture and it needs protein. So I decided to get a little bit of both. And then I also got these two masks from Hask. I'm rhyming here. And this one is, it's an argan oil mask. It's repairing deep conditioner. It's supposed to strengthen and restore dry damaged hair. So it looks like this. And I actually really like this brand. So I'm psyched to try this one. And then the last one I got was a tea tree oil and rosemary hair and scalp treatment mask to refresh and soothe your hair. So I just figured, you know what, I'm gonna try all five of these. I didn't wanna invest in like five giant tubs of masks because um, A, I didn't know which ones my hair would like. Um, so I wanted to try moisture masks and I wanted to try protein masks and we'll see which ones my hair likes. But also I wanna try a whole bunch of different kinds of masks and deep treatments. So, you know, variety is a spice of life. I also got these suckers. These are from the Curl Collective. They're from Scrunchy or Scrunchy. I don't know, I don't know how you pronounce this, but that's that's what they, they are. But I use like regular, um, you know, regular schmegular rubber bands or elastics to um, put my hair up in ponytails a lot. And let me tell you, one of the things that I think created like, you know, kind of some tension here, and I think it just created some tension damage was just putting my hair into tight buns or tight ponytails. So no more of that. I am committed to doing this for weeks and months. Like I'm gonna try to not put heat on my hair and like in the form of um, blow dryers and flat irons. But I do think that I'll use like air. I can use like fans or I can use just the air with no heat. Um, what do you call it, lever on my hair tools. I also got this, I'm super excited about this. This is the Not Your Mother's Curl Talk To Go, and it has all of the cult classic um, favorites, and I've never used it before, believe it or not. So um, 
It has the Curl Talk Defining Cream, Curl Activating Mousse, and Fizz, Frizz Control Sculpting Gel. So I figured, you know what? Why not try all of these and um, just see if I can kind of get the curl back in my hair and to see if I can get definition and hair health. So I know, you know, some people are like, your hair looks fine, your hair looks fine. But the thing is, is that my hair type typically, I mean, my hair type floats from like 2B, 2C. I hate like categorizing hair types, but people always ask me, what type of hair do you have? Because they wanna know if it's similar to theirs. So I would say my hair floats between 2B, 2C, and 3A curls, so kind of like wavy and curly. When my hair um, has been under stress, <laughs> and definitely when I flat iron and put a lot of heat on it, it is like right now I would say like 2B. Um, and then when it gets healthier, um, I would say that my hair is in the 2C category. And then when it's super healthy and when I have my hair is cut in a way, like right now I um, probably need another haircut because my hair is very heavy, but I feel like my hair goes into 3A category. So it has big, fat, loose curls. Uh, but right now it's kind of 2B and it's just not really my where my hair sits naturally. So I kind of want to bring my hair back to the Simply Susan hair health, you know, 2C, 3A kind of um, texture. So hopefully that is the goal. So I'm going to, oh, I have to wait for one thing. I also bought this really cool thing. It is a hair, I don't know, bonnet, I guess you could say. It's a microwavable hair bonnet that you put into the microwave for two minutes and then it, um, it stays hot and you put, you know, one of those hotel like disposable plastic um, shower caps on your head and then you put the microwavable, uh, it's got flax seeds all in it. And so those heat up in the microwave, you put the bonnet on and then um, obviously you put one of these suckers on these mass and deep conditioners. I'm totally going to try this one because it's supposed to be the Mac Daddy of all hair masks. So I'm going to put this one on put the shower cap thingy on and then put the microwavable, microwavable flaxseed uh, bonnet on over that. And yeah, I'm gonna keep it on for like 20 or 30 minutes. And then I'm gonna use these Not Your Mother's uh, products and hopefully my hair will come back to life because my options are either, um, you know, do this for a couple of weeks and see what happens. And if it doesn't come back to life, honey, I'm gonna cut my hair off. I have done the big chop before I'm not afraid of short hair, but I actually like having um, my hair this length. I think it's a good length, you know, it's kind of um, that length. And so, yeah, but as you can see, my hair, especially underneath is just kind of, let me show you the back of my hair and the sides of my hair. Can you see? My hair is kind of, you know, just, I don't know, lackluster. Um, I think the fact that because my hair is black, it kind of, you know, hides. Uh, some of the damage, but yeah, my hair is like stringy. It's not really defined or curly and I want to make it a lot more healthy. So let's get to it. So I'm going to start off with Nizerol. I read somewhere that Nizerol is a really good shampoo to get rid of like dry, itchy, like scaly um, scalp. And we're just getting out of the cold winter months and I feel like between radiator heat and the cold dry weather, I just really wanted to condition my scalp. So I'm doing it, but I was warned not to put it on the rest of your hair because it's super drying. So I'm just putting it on my scalp, as you can see, and I'm rubbing it in, uh, you know, kind of aggressively, but with my fingers and definitely not with my fingernails. And then I decided to clarify the rest of my hair. So I'm using this awesome way clarifying shampoo. And this shampoo just takes out all of the gel and all of the mousse and all of the leave-in conditioner and product that I put into my hair. And so I am basically putting this on the rest of my hair, uh, not really putting it on my scalp too, too much because um, I already have the Nizerol on there. And I am just making sure that this is kind of like a semi second wash, but kind of not really halfway, but I'm making sure to drag it to the ends and then rinse it all out incredibly thoroughly. I wanna make sure that I have a super duper clean and a uh, good base to move on to this, which is the Shea Moisture Deep Conditioner. I'm using this wide tooth comb and I'm gonna put in this uh, goobity goop and then I'm gonna use the wide tooth comb to then comb it through my hair to make sure that it's super saturated. Now look at this. This is like a paste 
like a clay, if you will, and it has little grains of sand in it. So it is a very, very thick, thick, thick um, product. So I'm making sure that I emulsify it and that I rub it all through my hair and make sure that it really does saturate every strand. Now this is a giant pack of deep conditioner, but um, I was thinking I would only use half of it. I was like, you know what? My hair is so dry, so brittle, that I decided to use it all. Here I am combing it through with a wide tooth comb, and then I am going to go and get a disposable shower cap. And while I was in the shower, Amazon came with this awesome cordless flaxseed microwavable heated bonnet. So I just stuck it in the microwave for two minutes and put it onto my hair. Now I'm back in the shower. This is the last time in the shower, I promise, but I'm making sure to really thoroughly rinse out all of that hair mask because it's a lot. It's heavy, it's thick, and I don't wanna have any residue in my hair to weigh it down, and I definitely don't wanna have anything on my scalp. So the next step is to use this awesome Not Your Mother's Curl Talk Trio. I'm gonna put the sculpting gel on it, and then I'm also gonna put the sculpting mousse and the defining cream. I said, you know what, let's use all of it. So here I am with my microfiber towel on top of my head, and I'm gonna go in with not one, not two, but all three of these products because I just feel like my hair needs everything. So here we're gonna go in with the cream. So I'm gonna tape like a dollop of this cream and just really make sure I work it in um, all over my hair, and I pretty much just use scrunching movements to add this to my hair. And then I decided to also add in the whey leave-in conditioner because again, my hair is thirsty. It's super duper thirsty and I just figured the more moisture the better. And then the next thing I'm gonna use is this gel. I was just like, why do I not have any S curl, uh, S wave or any kind of curl? So this is my attempt to try to get some of it back. And then the last step is to take the mousse. And do I need it? Probably not, but I was just like, you know what? This will probably give some volume and also help me get some more shape back into my hair. So I am taking this much. It's a lot of foam. That stuff totally expands, but I'm putting it all over my hair and I'm, you know, kind of gingerly putting it on and then scrunching it. I wanna make sure I cover everything, but I also don't wanna disrupt my wave or curl pattern. I have a lot on my hand. I see it. I, I know. So I'm basically, you know, just going to rub it into my hair. I'm going to flip my hair upside down to make sure that I get those under layers that are super duper straight. And that's it. So there you go. Those are all my products. And I am just going to let it air dry and see what happens in the end. Now, while I am letting my hair air dry, I am noticing that I have these ridiculously dark round cupping. Oh, I got cupping done for the second time in my life this morning and as you see I have these welts that are super dark and bloody looking and I'm going to research how I can get rid of those. I'm finally done. It didn't take that long. It just takes a hot minute for my hair to dry. My hair is I want to say like 90% dry. Um, probably 95. I mean my hair is always a little bit damp but look at my hair. I feel like it revived it so so much. I feel like this system of you know deep conditioner of you know as of today <laughs> stopping the heat and just being terrible to my hair but I feel like that um, purple flaxseed uh, microwavable cordless that's a lot of adjectives but anyway heating cap bonnet thing it really helped to penetrate the deep conditioner into my hair so I was going to cut my hair um, and I have done it multiple times before. I just chop it off. And I don't mean like to hear or to hear. I mean, I'm just like take clippers and do like one inch up the back and leave like an inch or two, like a, like a legit pixie. But I don't think I have to now. My hair feels, it feels, it feels so good. It feels soft and touchable. And it's definitely not, I mean, my hair, to be honest, was probably 2A-ish, <laughs> 2A slash 2B as far as the wave pattern. It was super weak. And now I feel like it's like legitimately 2B on the road to 2C. Um, I would love for my hair to be back to 2C slash 3A. Uh, I don't know. I kind of like the way it looked then. So we'll see. What are my next steps? My next steps are not using heat on my hair, uh, being gentle to it and just really going for things that repair like bonders and deep conditioners and masks. And I'm basically just going to 
be the no heat, no torture hair girl. And I'm really excited about that. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to try a whole bunch of new products and see what they do, but I'm really excited. I also, um, will give it a couple more weeks, I think, and then I will get a haircut or I'll give myself a haircut. I'm not really sure. I've done it once before, like during like the heat of lockdown pandemonium times, I totally gave myself a haircut. I think I was pretty successful. Um, you can check that video out if you want to. I'll link it uh, below as well. But um, yeah, I'm excited. I feel like I don't have to cut my hair. I feel like my hair can be revived. Um, here's the back of my hair. Well, here's the side. It's pretty. And here's the back of my hair. So as you can see, there's a lot of shine and a lot of luster. And yeah, I just feel like my hair is not dead. I did not kill it, which is fabulous. So if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to my channel because I'd love to have you back. I uh, think I am going to be on a healthy hair journey. I'm like on a healthy hair journey, a healthy skin journey, a healthy body journey, and a healthy soul journey. So if you want to join me, uh, subscribe and I'll see you in a little bit. But yeah, check out this hair. Try these tips. It really works. All right. Have a beautiful day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.